you created your new shiny application and of course it uses AI. But now your application logic lives in two places, application code and AI prompts. We test our code with unit tests, but how do we test our prompts? Let's do it with some powerful tools from Google. Hi, I'm Martin. These days, our app logic lives in both code and prompts. But a bad prompt leads to bugs and what I call prompt churn, we're just aimlessly changing prompts. In this video, I'll show you how to use Google's tools to engineer and improve your prompts with a clear prompt ops framework, from initial crafting to benchmarking to automated CI/CD testing. For our use case, we'll filter spam in a social media app. Instead of the old slow way of training our own classifiers, we'll use a single Gen AI prompt that requires no training. And it can even explain its reasoning. When I write an app, I start in the craft stage to prototype my prompts. And Google's new Gen AI evaluation tool is perfect for this. The quickest way to start is the generate data option. You give it a prompt template and it generates a data set for you to test against. After running the evaluation, you get a pass rate and detailed metrics. It's a great way to get a quick gut check on a new prompt idea and find areas for improvement. For example, here I can see that the generated explanation wasn't very clear. But for better reality check, you will want to use your own data. For that, I'll switch to the upload file option and test a more advanced prompt against a file of real world examples. I can even upload pre-recorded responses from any model, which is really flexible. And now you get a side-by-side -side view. The first column shows the pre-generated results read from my file. And the second one shows what Gemini came up with using my new prompt. Just like before, Google has generated scoring metrics for me. Nice. This tool has other great features too. My favorite is the ability to automatically optimize a prompt for you. You should check it out. So the craft stage was a success. We've explored ideas and we have a couple of promising prompts, but that isn't good enough for production. We need to test our prompts against each other with the same discipline that we use when we test our code. To do that, we'll move to the benchmark stage. Google has released a Python library to help with this. Here I have a Python notebook in Colab. After some initial setup and authentication, we get to the core logic. In the notebook, we define our key components. The two prompts we're comparing, our evaluation data, and the ground truth with the correct answers. I defined what metrics to use when evaluating the prompts. And then I ran the evaluation. That took a few minutes, but in the end, I could read the results returned by each prompt template for each social media message in my data set. And here is the good stuff. A bar chart comparing the two prompts for the metrics I picked. The result is clear. The blue prompt was the winner. In this notebook, I used two metrics which measure the similarity between the output of the model and the ground truth values that I defined up above. The library is also really flexible. You can even set up another model to act as a judge, complete with its own custom criteria. But the main point is, using Google's library, you can get hard numbers on the performance of your prompts. We have left the swamp of guessing and entered the solid ground of engineering. The video description below has a link to two Google libraries for this, as well as the notebook code I just showed you. And if you're not into Python, no problem. I've included a Node.js script in the repo that runs a similar evaluation, but without that library. All right, finding the best prompt feels great. But how do we make sure it stays the best? For example, things could go wrong if a teammate makes a seemingly harmless tweak to the prompt or the underlying model is updated. That's why there is an integrate step. It's a good idea to run automated tests against our application code as part of our CI CD pipeline. Let's do the same for prompts. 
This script needs to run on its own and it has to be able to stop the pipeline if the prompt doesn't meet our performance target. Here is a script that does that. I made it a little more realistic. Social media posts can be both texts and images. For example, the text may be innocent, but the image can be spammy. The script asks Gemini for a structured JSON output. The script runs many Gemini calls in parallel to make sure that it doesn't slow down the CI CD pipeline too much. And since Google's main evaluation library is in Python right now, I've wrote this script in Node.js just to show you that you can do this in any language. All right, let's run it. And it's done. We got a 100% pass rate, which is above our 80% threshold. Because it passed, the script returns a success code. If it had failed, it would have automatically stopped the CI-CD pipeline, which is exactly what we want. Let's look at three key tricks in the code to make it suitable for CI-CD. First, we force Gemini to return clean JSON using a schema, so we don't have to parse conversational text. Second, we turn the temperature way down to get more repeatable results. And finally, the script compares the accuracy to our 80% threshold to return that pass or fail signal to the CI-CD pipeline. And that's how you get from the swamp to solid ground. You now have the framework to leave guessing behind and truly engineer and improve your prompts with confidence. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, ask in the comments. Also, do let me know what you thought of today's episode. I read every single comment. Can't wait to see what you build.